Thank you for joining today's Morning Minute Meditation. I want to read to you a few verses from Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. The Bible said, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And, being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and hath given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. This is one of Paul's famous grammatically correct run-on sentences, if you'll allow me to say that. It's a very po popular portion of Scripture. Um, but what I want to emphasize is that God the Father has given God the Son a name that is above every name, and that is the name of Jesus. The word above, if you look it up in Strong's Concordance, it's over, in place, or above, beyond, across, superior to, more than, very chiefest, See, the, the name of Jesus is above every name. By definition, it is over every name. It's beyond every name. It's superior to every name. It's very chiefest of every name. Now, let's think about this for a moment. Uh, there are some names. Obama is a name. Trump is a name. Biden is a name. Putin is a name. Jinping is a name. Whatever the Antichrist will be called, well... That's a name, but Jesus' name is above them all. We can take it a step further. Cancer is a name. It's the name of a disease. Depression is a name. Alzheimer's is a name. Stroke is a name. Diabetes is a name. Corona is a name, as is COVID. On and on we could go, but the name of Jesus is above them all. Now, I said all that to say this. Psalm chapter 138, verse number 2. David said, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. The phrase above all thy name in Strong's Accordance carries the idea of a definite and conspicuous position. It implies honor, authority, and renown. God has established that Jesus' name is above every name, but even above any and all the names of God, God has magnified His Word. If God has placed His Word in such a lofty position and attached such honor and authority and renown to His Word, how much emphasis should you and I place on God's Word? What position should God's Word have in my life? How much should I honor God's Word and its authority? Can I say it this way, and I'm not doing damage to the scriptures, but there is a name that is above every other name, and that name is Jesus, but God's word is even above that name. 